API key and secrets are very important codes. Uh, be sure you know the risks before using them. Restrict access to keys only from your IP address. Then don't expose your IP keys to GitHub or other code repositories. Be sure to follow all the precautions and make sure that your funds are safe. I would recommend don't use API key on an account which have so much balance. Use API keys on account with low balance. We will look how to create an API key in Vazirx. First log into your Vazirx account. I am logged into the Vazirx in my PC. On the account settings, you will have an area API key manager, a tab called API key manager. Click on that. There you will get an option for creating new API key. We have to use this API key they give when making the request to Vazirx. Uh, API keys are required for some endpoints which are private. Public account, uh, endpoints does not require this key. Now click on create new key. Now give a name for the API key. Uh, in the second step you have to uh, enter the code generated in the your authenticator app. After that, after that enter the OTP received in your mail address. Then click the authenticate button. I have covered my key with this notepad window to keep it secret. Now we have to give a restriction to the key based on IP address. Unrestricted means this API key allows access from any IP address that is not recommended. Access to trusted IPs only. For this you have to find uh, to set the IP address, you have to find IP address of your system. If you search what is my IP in Google, you will get your IP address. The thing about IP address is, uh, the IP address we get from um, Google after we search for it is, probably will be dynamic IP address. It will change after some times. So you will have to come here and edit it and give the changed IP address if your requests are, requests are not working. Enter your IP in this field and click update. I am enabling portrait also for testing trading. You can come here and en enable it later. Now for updating also we will have to give to a fair code and OTP by email. Give that, enter that course and click authenticate. We have created the API key. Now we will copy it and we will use it in our programs. I will show it in next part.